Religious abuse or sometimes called spiritual abuse, I think may be one of the most damaging types of abuse done. That's not to minimize other horrific types of abuse that happen to men and women. However, spiritual and religious abuse that comes from someone in spiritual authority who takes advantage of their position to influence someone to do something to gratify themselves as opposed for that other person's good is incredibly dangerous. You see, it not only distorts that person, but it distorts an image of God also. Uh, spiritual abuse is when someone in a religious organization, perhaps a church or other type of religious organization, takes their power and uses it to force or coerce someone to do a type of job, a type of service. It may be something that looks really good on the surface, but it encourages them to do something that only is for that pastor or that leader's good, not necessarily for the other person's good. Over time, a, a spiritual abuse is easy to notice. In the early days, however, spiritual abuse will feel possibly like someone caring for you or walking very closely with you, wanting to disciple or shepherd or mentor you. But there is a danger of spiritual abuse, and you need to be aware of that.